Police in Nebraska recently had to write some very unusual warnings to a driver who had modified his vehicle to accommodate a very unusual passenger. The passenger's name was Howdy Doody, but it wasn't a puppet. It was a full-grown bull. About the top third or more of the animal was outside the vehicle from the passenger seat, including, by the way, a very impressive set of horns. It led one TV personality to, to ask the question, did he let the steer steer? But it led me to think that that's a pretty good question. After all, just think of the number of modifications that had been made to a regular-sized vehicle to accommodate the weight and the awkwardness of such an animal. While the person may have had the steering wheel, was he really in control of that car? You know, the same can be true when we allow the devil to have a foothold in our lives. We may think we have the wheel of life in control, but think of how much we have to change in order to make it seem that way. His influence is seeing how we order our day, how we interact with people, things we have to hide, and so much more. Not to mention, of course, how that sin affects our relationship with our Heavenly Father. You know, the Bible regularly tells us that we ought to be people who are self-controlled. In fact, it's part of that fruit of the Spirit listed in Galatians chapter 5, beginning in verse 22. When we give in to the devil's temptations, we are seeding that ability because we're not really in control anymore. And so today, and every day, Let's keep our central focus on being sure that we are letting the Word of God guide every thought and every action we take so that we are truly steering our lives, or really, so that He is truly steering our lives.